All right, what's up, guys? Um, I am here with uh, Janella. Uh, help me say your last name. Eisentrager. Eisentrager, yeah. Um, she has been with us for, God, what, three, four years now? Four years. Four, four years, years. This summer. Yeah, so she actually used one of my first uh, Fit at 50 clients. So um, I started the Fit at 50 program maybe like uh, maybe five years ago, it was right before, before Joe started. Um, and it's basically, I had some clients that were, you know, baby boomer generation. Um, they didn't really want to work out with uh, the rest of the population or they just felt nervous or whatever. Um, so I had like two of them. So I decided, you know, there's definitely a market for this. Why don't we um, just make this like a session where we can work with, you know, up to 10 or 15 um, people at once. And that way we're helping more individuals out and they're getting the support they need from other, uh, other classmates as well too. So. Um, you know, Joe started out, like I said, about four years ago. Uh, she's come a super long way, so she's very uh, fit now, very um, in great shape. And she's also like one of our uh, best members as far as welcoming the new members and making them feel supported. So um, one of the biggest things is just, uh, you know, when people first come into the environment, they're very intimidated, they're very, uh, you know, just wary of, uh, you know, working out and things like that. So. Um, when you have good members like, you know, Joe, who's going to, um, you know, welcome everybody and just be very friendly from the get-go, that really helps a lot of the newer members. So, um, I don't know, Joe, if you just want to kind of tell about your journey, kind of how you started, you know, what you were like before Fit for Lincoln and um, kind of like where you're at now. All right. I've always been pretty active, um, but... Um as you, as you age, um, I think you back off a little bit and you're not quite as active, but um, I live in the neighborhood, so I'd always seen this and I'd always been interested. So I stopped in one day and um, just talked with Matt. And Matt actually um, let me come for a little bit just to try it out, which I thought was a great idea because you kind of see what you're getting into and meet some of the people. Um, my husband and I both came and um, he's taking a little break now, but um, like Matt said, I've been coming for four years. I hadn't been, um, like active exercise for years. I was bicycle riding and walking, things like that. But um, as far as um, the active exercise and the boot camps, things like that, I hadn't did that for quite a while. Um, so came in, um, went to Fit at 50 um, for quite a while. And part of it was just working with a group, uh, made some really good friends um, within that group. Um, and part of it's just some people think they can exercise by themselves and it works for a few people, but I think part of it's just working in a group and um, having comrades beside you that you can compare with and you know um, encourage and just see how everybody's journey um, in the fitness world is going. I've uh, progressed and, and, and did well. Um, I have bad knees actually, both my knees are bad, but I modify a lot of stuff, but I'm still able to come and exercise and have fun and make it a part of my um, weekly plan. Uh, I'm able to come to any class now and like I said I modify a lot of things. If I see people who are new I, I do try to say hi and that it gets better because it is hard at first. Um, when I first started uh, like I said I'm a little bit older uh, generation and I didn't even know what some of these exercises were. I had never done them my whole lifetime but um, now I can do some of them. Some of them I modify and uh, it's just been a great journey. The classes are 30 minutes. Um, I think there's one that's 45, the strength class. Um, they're all good classes. No class has ever been the same um, four years I've been here. Um, the trainers help you out, um, help you with nutrition. Um, if you're doing something in the uh, form that you can do a little bit better, they'll come in and they'll, they'll help you with that form. Um, I've used the wall for balance. Um, and like I said, uh, if I use a wall or I'm doing something a little bit different, um, they encourage you as long as you're moving and having fun and smiling. Um, it's all good. Yeah, awesome and cool. So kind of like going back into that knee issue, um, you know, I kind of spoke with you just yesterday and you talked about being able to hold off on surgery. You said eventually you're going to have to have that surgery, which I think a lot of people your age might be in that um, kind of in that same boat. Um, however, just like, you know, can you talk about a little bit about how you've been able to kind of put that surgery off and maybe like rehab those knees a little bit? Well, I actually got stronger. Um, I never knew about planks and squats and push-ups and you know a lot of people don't think oh I can't do that at my age um, but actually you can I'm gonna be 60 in May 
And if I can do squats and modified burpees and push-ups and planks, um, I think you can work into them. No matter where you're at in your uh, weight or your health journey, um, it gets better as you go. And if you're just coming and, and being a part of the exercise group, you're gonna feel better. You're gonna feel better um, emotionally. I actually was um, signed up to have my knees done. I was gonna have total knee replacements done October 1st. But between the um, planks and the squats, the push-ups, uh, some of these exercises, my um, thighs have gotten stronger, the support around my knees have gotten stronger. Um, and I was actually to put that surgery off. I decided um, through um, a, a camping thing that we did, I was able to climb out of these banks and things. And I realized that my body was still too strong to go through the surgery in October of this year. So I'm going to put it off and uh, I'm going to have to have it done someday. But, um, you know, thanks to Fit for Lincoln, my, my legs and my body's strong. So I'm going to just do it sometime in the future. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. So that's what we strive for just to give everybody a better quality of life as they age. Um, so kind of the things that she's talking about, planks, burpees, stuff like that. So these are all functional um, exercises. So basically, it's things that are going to carry on to your everyday life. So working in the garden, carrying groceries, playing with the grandkids, stuff like that. Um, whereas a traditional workout, you know, lifting weights and stuff like that, um, that's not going to be as functional. So it's not something that you can correlate into your everyday life. So we really want to work with you guys on just... Uh, you know, functioning better in your everyday life, you know, getting up off the floor, knee kneeling down, just the little things that um, you kind of take for granted at a younger age that um, become a little bit more difficult as we age. Um, those things that if we can train your body that way, then those everyday little things get so much easier um, and you can just keep, uh, keep getting stronger and healthier. So um, and it actually makes your body feel better. You feel better um, physically and emotionally. Uh, when you come to a class, you exercise and, you know, smiles and uh, high fives and, uh, um, you know, positive things from the guys that are standing around with you. So you don't have to feel like you're alone um, that you're doing this. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, one thing I really like is the evolution of the Fit at 50 session that, you know, uh, when I created, I didn't even expect it really. So I created this session and basically what's happened with this session, because it is a little bit later at night, so it's not maybe ideal for everybody. Um, we get a good group of uh, these folks coming in. We work them out for, you know, six, eight weeks, uh, maybe a little bit longer, and then they get the feeling better, get more confident, and then they just come to whatever session they want. So um, they understand all the modifications. Um, they can do everything at their own pace, no matter what session they're in. So it's really just a great starter um, session. So um, it, you don't have to be 50 or older. You can, you know, we definitely have some young people in there that are just uh, maybe a little bit heavier, maybe just shy, things like that. It's just a great encouraging environment. Um, and all of our sessions are like that. Just, you know, sometimes people feel more comfortable starting out around their peers or people that aren't in, you know, super great shape already, so. And I think it is good. If you haven't exercised for a long time and you come into one of the, the harder classes, they're, they're all pretty similar, but the Fit at 50s, um, just, just a little more um, relaxed and they take a little bit of the kick out of the exercise. Uh, maybe the, the jumping and the, um, a little bit of the hardness out of it because some people are just getting back into it. So I think people that are just starting exercise too, that haven't exercised for a long time, maybe that the Fit at 50 is a good place just to start to just get a feel for the, the club and, the, um, of, uh, and of what we're doing, the right. structure. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Well, that's it, guys. We just want to share Joe's journey. Uh, hopefully, we can reach out to some of you guys that are kind of maybe were in her same shoes, um, you know, nervous about starting a program. Um, this is definitely a program for everybody, so we want to help you out. If we can, um, please, uh, you know, email us, give us a call if you want to find out more. And who knows, one of these days you might meet Joe and we might be working out together. <laughs>